One of the things you often want to do when building large sculptures is find a way to make them extremely modular. And a while back, Royal Sorel had suggested to me a method that we could use that is, in fact, incredibly modular. What we did was we took five inch balloons, extremely underinflated. You can see the knot here is tied at the very end towards the nozzle rather than close to the inflated part of the balloon. That allows us to put a twist into the balloon. We can now take all of those balloons, those five inch balloons twisted like that, and twist them into our chains of airships. Now I said this was a very modular piece. We could have several people on a crew making chains like this with the five inch balloons twisted in there already ready to be joined together. Now when we want to put these together, we take another ring that already has those five inch balloons twisted on and stack it on top of the first one. To make a solid connection, we'll take the nozzle from layer one and wrap it around the bubbles in layer two. Now for security, we're going to wrap it in multiple directions around both the bubble sticking up and the bubble sticking out. For the sake of the video, that's not important. I'll just make sure there is a connection so you can see how these are joined. Nozzle gets wrapped into the twist in that second layer's balloons. And you can see already after we do that, how the next layer also already has a bubble sticking up ready to join on layer three. The pattern just continues exactly as before. The lower layer, take the nozzle, wrap it around, and get a solid connection. Now this is one of the fastest methods of building modular walls, or tubes as the case may be. In the case of the octopus tentacles, we tried doing this and unfortunately learned that while this works on a small scale and is quite solid, on a large scale, the necks of the five inch balloons just don't hold as well together. So we tried to compensate for that We tried to compensate for the weakness in the, the bubbles in the five inch balloons by adding layers that actually had two five inch balloons at each joint. One bubble going up, one going down. So that now, when we go to attach it to the previous layer, we'll have one nozzle coming down from above and one coming up from below. making this structure, this joining piece, twice as thick, twice as strong. That worked, it did make things stronger, but still, in retrospect, we realized that doing anything quite as large as the octopus and tentacles as long as they were, this wasn't gonna be firm enough. It still wobbled a little bit, and the bubbles still deflated and broke when we didn't want them to. And looking back now, I wish we had used the alternate method of building long tubes using 260s to join these rings of, of airships.